is the first Friday night game of the new season. A lot of folks out there excited, but for one player on the Minneapolis North team, it's extra special just being able to walk on the field or really walk at all. I sat down and talked with Kashmir Grunau for an exclusive interview about the night he was shot and how he's planning on coming back stronger than ever. The wait for football season can be endless. The anticipation of our Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays filled with big plays, big hits. Look, broken. What you mean you broken? And in the case of 17-year-old Kashmir Grunau, yeah, maybe a little bit of trash talk. He's not touching me. He's not touching me. For Cash, as most people know him, the wait is even more excruciating. He's on the sidelines now, knowing that his game and his life was this close to being over. I was truly blessed. Like, after the aftermath, I was truly blessed. Like, real talk. My life is completely changed in such a positive way. March 22nd, 2023. Well, breaking overnight, another North Minneapolis high school football player has been shot. This just a year after his teammate, Deshaun Hill, was shot and killed. Yeah, I just hate starting your day with news like this. What do you remember about that night? I was hanging out with my friend Taylor, and then it was getting a little late, so I was like, it's time to go home. So I started walking home, and then while I was walking, somebody started yelling something, and then they started shooting at me. Do you get a glimpse of a face, or do you know who it was? Is anybody that you knew? No clue. Do you have any idea why they started shooting at you? I have no idea. Cash was shot three times in his legs. I ran right after, like I ran a whole block after. So like, I didn't really notice it until I got like a block away and then I couldn't, like I just couldn't run no more. So then I, I had to stop and I did a little self-assessment and you know, that's when I was like, okay, I'm, I'm leaking, like I'm bleeding. His friend called 911 and Cash was rushed to the hospital. You know, they were just like, you know, you're lucky. It didn't hit nothing major, like nothing, no major arteries were hit. For the North High community, it felt like deja vu. Back in February of 2022, it was Cash's teammate, star quarterback Deshaun Hill, who was shot and killed. When I saw that I lost my brother, it hurt more than anything. That was my first time losing somebody tremendously close to me. And that... It's just an unbearable loss. So Cash tells me as he laid there bleeding after being shot himself, he wasn't alone. Oh, I felt his presence. I heard him. I, I felt everything. Like, it was like right there I knew I was okay. And I knew I had a purpose. I have a reason to return. I have a purpose to return. He told me I was going to return, so I'm going to return. I, I didn't have no doubts once I once I had a once he started talking there to me. There you go. Yes, yeah, so it just kind of crushes. This is hard. With a second chance at life and a determination to get back to doing what he loves. Yes, man, got shot in my legs. This is crazy. Cash's rehab began almost immediately. There wasn't much they could tell me once I started walking or trying to walk the next day. So, you know, they just were trying to guide me from there. So you're saying the next day you were up and walking. I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and nothing was going to stop you. Yeah, nah. I had to get back. He said his body began to heal pretty quickly. Getting his mind right, however, was the toughest battle. The fact that I had to get myself and my mind on track with my body and, and make sure that I remember my body's not where it was before. Come on, Cash! But Cash is a fighter in more ways than one. Just months after being shot, he was wrestling in nationals in North Dakota. That was, I think, the first time I was like, OK, I'm back. But for the talented linebacker heading into his senior season, getting ready for football has been a bit more challenging. Day four of camp, fall camp football. I'm sore. My legs are exhausted. It's tender. You know, I can feel the bullet. It was a really tough day yesterday, but today's going to be better. And, and that's, my, that's been my mindset this entire recovery process. Through the pain, he tells me he will push on. What's it going to be like walking on this field for that first game of the season? It's, it's, it's the greatest feeling ever, every time. But this time, it's, 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 it's going to hit different. It's, it's going to hit different. So as I mentioned, Cash wrestled just a few months after being shot in May. In fact, he completed, wow. competed in freestyle wrestling at a state championship. And get this, he came in fifth place with he a bullet in, in his leg. It's still in his leg. Still in his and leg. he said he didn't know, he didn't make out a face of who shot him. Yeah. But did authorities ever catch anybody? No, still don't know who did it. Still haven't caught him, still under investigation. So, yeah. Um, just amazing to see his recovery. Yeah. Talking to him, he's just so mature and so poised, and he knows what he wants, and he's going after it. He's gone through a lot. The he's gone through so much. People shouldn't go through at his age or no, ever in their life. Man. All right. 650 on this Wednesday.